Hello friends, welcome. So in this video I'm going to show you the structure of the Laravel project. But before that I'm going to show you here I changed the TLD to test again because if you go to the Laravel project in the .env file when we create a project by default the Laravel added here to the app URL to be dot the name of the project and added the dot test here. So for that, when we create another one, I'm not going to change here that uh, TLD, but I change it the value TLD and other tests. Okay. So now let's start with the app directory. Here we have the console directory. We have the kernel PHP. Here is for the artisan commands. So when we make a migration PHP artisan and so on, here we have the exception for the handling errors, HTTP, we have the controllers, middlewares, the middlewares, we have authentication, encryption, and so on. Middleware, all the middlewares are registered to this kernel PHP. So here we have the middlewares, grab, Okay, so here authenticate middleware and we register here and give it the name of okay. Uh, Laravel stands for MVC, so model view controller. Now here we have the controllers and the controllers handling the logic between the model and the view. Okay, here we have the view the model sorry and by default laravel comes with a user model and the the model is the model is connection with the mo, uh, user this user model is connected with the user table in the database also we have the providers but uh, we have app service provider road service provider but this is not for the beginner, so let's stick with that. After that, we have the bootstrap. Also, here when we bootstrap in our project, we have the config file. And here, if we want to make some changes, some configuration, for example, for the database, by default, we have the database the MySQL, but also if we want to change that, we have this dot in the dot env file. We have added this variable and change it there. Also here we have the SQLite, MySQL, and so on. So the same thing for the mail. If we want to change something, uh, session views service uh, sanctum and so on. And also when we uh, add a package, maybe that package has a configuration file and is going to be added here. Next thing we have the database. Here we have the factories, migrations and seeders. Now here we have this user factory and this is going to generate fake data to the user model. So it's related with the user model we have here. And also with the migration, user migration, which is here. This is the user database table. Okay. And also we have the seeders and here we call the user model and say factory and create a 10, 10 fake users. Okay, next we have this language. So we, if we want to change the language to another one to translate, also we have this uh, public directory and here we have the index.php where the project starts. So here is going to when we go and run the project and open the project in the browser. 
the first thing is going to load this one okay we have the resources and here is going to be the front-end files we have the CSS files JS and also the views now here is going to be all the HTML files and Laravel has this uh, blade.php template engine which is uh, very useful okay we have the roads or the road definition for our application we have the api roads for the api and the web roads when we're using our web a storage to store the files here test for making test feature or unit tests unit test is a php testing vendor for Laravel dependencies is going to be here. Now we have the .env file, and in the .env file is for the environment variables or attributes. So see here we have the db database, and this is the name of the database is connected with the Laravel project. Sorry. Also, we have so git ignore, and by default, Laravel added some uh, folders here. We have composer JSON. Here all are all the dependencies of the Laravel needs, Laravel project, and when we install a new package, it's going to be in here. The same thing is for the package JSON, but this is for the npm packages. We have this PHP unit for the testing. Okay, so here we have the unit test. And uh, readme and also the webpack. So webpack is for the asset creation. So we have this mix resources JS app.js and is going to create. Here we have the app.js is going to create uh, mix files of this one to the public and create a new folder JS and inside here is going to create this uh, app JS okay uh, that's it for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best